Hello my crafty lovelies. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, I'm literally here with two kits for you today. Uh, a lot of you know um, I'm having some things going on with my daughter. Um, she's a five year survivor of cancer. She has some um, severe brain cancer at the moment. Uh, and this year is not looking so good. Um, so I'd like to get her back into therapy at the moment. We can't afford to send her to therapy, which is um, breaking my heart. Um, so I've just really smashed out these kits for you girls. Um, one is one that I've been working on for a while. I was just waiting on some bits and pieces to come through the mail, which they've just done. And another one is um, one that I've put together in the last few days. Um, so this first one, uh, I think it's pretty good value. It's $25. This one is your um, snippet roll. So you can either make it a snippet roll or you can um, turn it into a mini doily book. Um, I don't know if everybody's seen, but I've got a little video on how to make these tiny, tiny doily books, which I've used little tiny doilies, lots of embellishments, um, just to make it pretty. Something that can go, you know, just small into a, a little gift bag or something um, for a friend or just a little collectible. I think they're gorgeous. I've got dozens of them on my shelf. Um, here's one that's slightly larger. So, and I've just used buttons and handmade tassels and flowers and things. Um, this is my garden one. So it's got the watering can and the flowers and the birdhouse and the bird. So um, this is was just an idea I came up with. You know, everyone's making large doily books. So I thought I'd make little doily books. Um, so there you go. It's got a little spade there. I think they're gorgeous. So, and I sort of get to the point where I don't, I want to keep adding a little bit more to them, a little bit more, a couple more gems, a couple more flowers. <laughs> so I don't know when to stop. So anyway, this kit, you can either do your snippet roll or you can do your doily book. So I have included this piece of lace here. So you have this large square of lace here. So it's got a nice little edging on it there. It's got a couple of flowers there. If you want to cut it out, you can cut the, the edge off if you want to. You can cut the leaves out. That's one piece of lace. All right. Oh, now I forgot to include a piece in here. All right. So actually this was the doily books. So anyway, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to include another piece of lace in here. So this has got your flowers, oh, your appliques here. So they're beautiful. You know, you can cut them out and do them individual. Um, what I will include in this, this is actually for the next kit, but I will include this in this kit as well. This is a large piece of lace. Um, kind of looks like... Um, Oh, what do you call them? The, the cafe curtains, the top bit. But I thought that that could be your main piece for a snippet roll. Um, put a piece of plain fabric on the back, something like that. So I'll, I'll include that as well. So there'll be a, a metre of this. And I may even include another piece of lace so you've got two colours, like a white as well. Anyway. So this has got your doilies in here. So these are your doilies here. You have four of these Ecro smaller round ones, which are the ones that I use for my most of my smaller doily books. And I generally find that four is enough for a book. And you just thread the lace through on the end here. And... Um, decorate each page separately to start with so you can do that or you have four of the slightly larger ones so this will and again just thread through the holes 
this will make your doily books so four of the larger ones uh, we also have some of these appliques here or kind of like a star flower some leaves you can cut them out individually or glue them all on if you're doing the snippet roll like that you have i love this this is um it looks it reminds me of stained glass windows so it's like a ribbon but it's it's stitched it has a pretty flower on there so you have a piece of that probably about half half a meter of that and you have some of these little doilies that you can either tidy up or leave them like that depending on how you like them and they can be popped in used as decorations now i don't know if you're keen but there's little tiny tiny ones here you could pop a gem on uh, little tassels or something like that but there's or just add them into the center of the other ones put a gem in it i think they're really cute so you've got one two three four five six of those ones there and i believe you've got a oh okay so you've got one of a slightly larger one um you also have this it's just a piece a small piece um i didn't have much of this left at the time um but this can be cut out and made into several different laces you've got your leaves on the bottom then you've got your flower You've got this um, diamante here, and then you've got this piece here. So you could have one, two, three, four laces. You've got your window, your little windows here, and then you've got your top one at the with the little round circles. So you could split that down the middle there, down the middle there, um, around the diamantes, around the flowers, and around the leaves. So I think that's quite a versatile lace. Um, or cut it in half make it two laces I, I up to you up to you use your imagination i think that's gorgeous that's quite a nice weight too i've included this one which i think is gorgeous it could be an arch going this way or a scallop going the opposite way either way i think it's it's extremely pretty sorry there you go arch going that way or a scallop going that way it's a um it's like an organza it's um oh i can't even think at the moment it's a netting and then it's stitched over the top and it's quite um satiny stitching so um yeah so all the money from these two kits that i'm doing are actually going towards uh, my daughter's cancer treatment i believe i have 10 of each um so i have 10 of the uh doily book come snippet roll um kits and then i have 10 of i've redone the um doily decorator kit um which i'll show you in a minute so this is another one that can be chopped up and turned into embellishments or or um, separate laces uh, what I did on one of mine is I actually took this bottom piece off and used this as a separate lace and then actually cut out each of these individual sections here and I put some tassels on it and some beads and I actually made a very beautiful little embellishment and I did use them for some um, thank you gifts in some of my mail that I sent so but that's pretty as a whole lace or cut up like I said, I, I turned it into a, an embellishment, which I thought was nice. So that, um, I'm not sure how much, it's about a quarter of a metre there. It was just whatever I had at the time. <coughs> Mind you, I do have lots of laces here, but finding enough to do 10 kits of one, <laughs> one kind of lace sometimes is a little bit hard. Um, I've given you some of these appliques here. So you've got two, four, two, four, six, eight. Sorry, I can't even count today. Eight of these. So like this. And again, cut them up, put some gems on, add some dangles, put something behind it. it makes a lovely little embellishment to go on a card, um, a gift box, something like that. 
You can turn up the other way, have it like that. It looks a little bit like a crown, then have some dangles or something, gems, whatever. Um, yeah, so I think I think they're kind of nice. So that is the main part of the kit. And like I said, I never know when to stop. So this is your goodie bag. So included, whoop, included with that. Did I drop something then? I think it, uh, there it is, little button. So included with that, you have all your goodies. So we have some of these string of flatback pearls. Um, these ones are very pale pink, very shiny. You can cut them down the middle, cut them up, whatever you want to do. You've got the pale pink. You've got a piece of the pale pink. You've got a piece of white. You have a piece of the pretty lavender, my favourite colour. Or one of them, purples. Purples, pinks, fuchsias, that's me. You have some ribbon here for stringing, your, the shoestring ribbon for um, stringing your doily books together or making lovely bows. Um, like I said, you can make your snippet roll or whatever. Let's see, we have some of these gems here. Multiple colours, multiple sizes. Of course, purples in there. Roll over, roll over. Oh, it's not cooperating. There you go. They have like the um, AB finish to them. Uh, so let's see that, that. Oh, where are we? Okay, we've got some buttons. Hang on, let me put that aside. We have some buttons. So there's a, a round button. There's a thimble. There's a cotton spool. Now, you're not necessarily going to get the same colours. There's a heart. There's another round pink button. I believe you've got the pink buttons. Uh, there's a larger pink button. Then we have... Let's see what else we have. We have some of these um, brass feathers. So you have a couple of those. Oh, there we go. You have a mini safety pin. That's just an embellishment one. You have one of these padded hearts and a padded butterfly. So, maybe you can see that. You have one of these which has pearls and a flower and an applique. Now, just go careful because I have noticed that some of these, um, I felt it, there you go, that one there. Some of these pearls, they're actually put on with it like a pin and then capped. Uh, some of them still have a little sharp tack on the end. I don't know whether you can see that a little sharp bit there. So just go careful, ladies. You may need to just trim that with a set of pliers. <laughs> We'll make sure it's well glued and put a wad of glue on it. Okay, so then we have our roses. So you have multiple little roses here. And I don't remember how many roses I did in here. I know I did a lot. Let's see, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these cream roses with the variegated ribbon leaf and then we have one two three four five six seven oh this one's got seven so that's a bonus seven eight ah no i think that was about it it eight so mm, no maybe that's not Seven, okay. All right, it looks like there's seven in this one. Seven little tiny baby blue roses, which are just little tiny rolled roses like this, aren't they gorgeous? So tiny. So seven of those. 
in there. Yeah, I think there was meant to be six. <laughs> so someone's going to get seven. Six of these pink baby roses. Look at those little gorgeous darlings. Aren't they gorgeous? Six of those. Six of these little lavender folded ones. They're slightly different. I'll see if I can turn it around and show you. Man, look at that bud. So it's kind of folded and rolled. So it's a bit different to the other ones. And then we've got some of the baby, baby white ones. So then again, the little rolled roses. So that is the um, doily decorator snippet roll um, kit. And that will be $25, which I think with all those embellishments is actually worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, not overpricing these ladies because I, I just need to make some money for my girl. Uh, she's uh, had a hard life, I'm afraid. Um, she had to have a total hysterectomy at the age of 20. They screwed up and cut off the circulation on a part of her stomach with some stitches. Um, I don't know what the story was, but she ended up with gangrene and had to go in for another operation and had part of her stomach removed. So now she can't eat a lot of things. She can't digest meat. Um, they want to hospitalise her because she's not putting out enough brain function at the moment and they are worried that any time she could collapse and need a ventilator. So... That's kind of a very stressful situation as she is still working to support herself. And um, she has no temperature control. Um, she has no feeling in her arms and her hands. She forgets things really easy. Uh, we're going through a bit of a tough, tough time at the moment. Anyway, that's, that's that one kit. And like I said, I will put those other pieces of lace in there. Now, let's see, where are we? 17 minutes. Um, let's just power through it, shall we, ladies? So this is the doily decorator kit. Now, like I said, I did this one before. Um, basically, it is uh, lots of doilies. Now, what I've done is I've actually left them in pieces like this. Normally, I cut them out and make them into individual doilies from old tablecloths and bedspreads, things like that. So what you have is a piece like this so that you can actually cover a book or um, decorate something with a, a whole page. Or you have the choice of actually cutting them out and having the individual pieces. So this is the first section and this is four by four. Of the big doilies and then you have all the little doilies in between as well so that's one piece actually i'm gonna leave that open there that's one piece you have this one with the large doilies these are really pretty i thought you actually have two different types there or well three including the little one so as you can see you have this doily here and then you have this doily here, which has like a flower in it. And then you have the little baby doilies as well. There it is. So that is three by three. And that one, one the first one's white. The second one is just slightly off-white, a bit of a cream color. Uh, this one is also white. This is three by four. And take a look at this one. It looks like it's got love hearts and a little flower in it. So it's actually got a little raised flower in the center. And then you've got, it looks like love hearts, but it's got three. So maybe it's meant to be a big flower. I don't know. Um, so you've got that. And then you've got this little star here with all the flowers around the outside, which I think is so cute. So that is three by four. They're quite a large doily. All right, there you go. Now, like I said, these are from old tablecloths and um, 
tablecloths and bedspreads that I picked up in auctions and garage sales, junk sales, op shops. I've hunted around. Um, I bought them on eBay. Um, yes. So anywhere I can find them. Now, in amongst this, I've actually decided to include um, some little ribbon roses. These are slightly bigger than the other ones. Um, I want to include um, the colour for brain cancer. Um, but it was it was grey. And I thought, well, no, for a change, I will choose a pretty blue instead of a pink or a purple. But if you look at the leaves on there, I think they're kind of a grey-green. So let's just say that's for brain cancer, shall we? That's my theory. So you've got two, four, six, seven. There should be eight there. Ah, oh, oh, there it is. So there is eight. Eight there. You're going to have eight of those. Uh, okay, so then you've got a piece of this edging, which you can cut into sections as you like, or use it in one piece. It has the scallops down the edge. There's a couple of different patterns there, so that's kind of nice I think so that one <coughs> you will get a piece of this one which is a really opened open edging and then it's got this really pretty scallop on the edge there so that's the second one and a third one here this one is a cream one Again, it's got that kind of rainbow pattern edging scallop, which is nice. Okay, you are going to get a metre of fandangles. So everyone seems to love the fandangles. Uh, I think it was Joanne Lee that named that for me. Thank you, Joanne. If I'm not right, then I'm sorry, whoever it was. <laughs> um, you've got this gorgeous net here, which is so light, but then it's got this beautiful satin pattern on it. So you've got a metre of that as well. You have a metre of my favourite um, onglace, I think they call it, um, lace. This is... Uh, kind of off-white as well slight cream and it's got a beautiful pattern on it this is my favorite pattern so you have a meter of that which is really good i think um, i love it anyway let's put that in there like that you have a meter of this one which we used in the, uh, we're going to use in the other one as well so meter of that lace which is the cream now, you will receive uh, a length of these ones, which are in the Ecro. I haven't uh, worked out how many you're going to get yet because I have to work out um, how many I have before I put them in the, the packs. So sorry about that. I'll, I'll put a fair, fair few of them in there so you can decide whether you cut them up or use them like that. Now, um, okay, so that's, that's the kit, but... You will also get with your kit one of these. Now you have a choice. You can either have a round one or you can have an an oblong one. So we'll just have a look at the oblong ones first. And if you get in first, you can sort of decide which one you want if you know. Um, like there's some that are a little bit individual. So we have this one. This is an oblong one. And that's an ecro. Uh, oh, it's not ecro. It's uh, a cream uh, this one is a white one again the oblong and that's quite open and has the pretty flowers on it and the little center pieces uh, there are actually a little bit dimensional the little tiny flowers <coughs> so uh, there is this cream one it's not quite ecro it's um just a bit paler actually has a very slight pink tinge to it. I don't know whether that's where it's gone through the wash or something. Uh, so that has the two circles in the middle. So, But you can choose whether you want a circle or whether you want an oblong, um, depending on what's left. 
there's this one this is another white one it's quite quite a large border on it and it's got little diamonds in the border there which is pretty this one which is so soft again uh, it's the same as the um the other one we looked at with the little raised flowers so it was probably a set that i had or something i'm not sure let's see uh no the other one's cream this one's white so almost okay so let's have a look at our circles all right so we have this one which is quite a fine one that's a circle that's a white one this is a slightly cream one it's a large round one uh, this is quite a thick one now it does have a small blue stain on it but um i think this is really pretty and i do like this border here has got a little bit of staining here i'm not sure whether that will wash up um but you could try but whatever if it doesn't get sold then it goes in my collection um this is a very very light uh a fine um it looks like it's handmade this one well i assume a lot of these are handmade some of them are vintage i'd say this is a vintage one and it's got this little pattern in here you can see it looks like a little christmas tree or something And then we have this one, which has the flowers all the way around the outside. It's very pretty, I think. And these gorgeous little scallops on the edge. Look at that. Yeah. I do like that little centerpiece in there too. Uh, we have this one. So when you get your kit, you get the choice to have one of these. You can either choose round or the, the oblong ones. I know I keep repeating it, but you know, sometimes people don't hear the first time you say things. This one, very, very delicate. It's lovely. And it looks like it's got a, a peacock fan going around the outside. It's kind of ruffled. There it is kind of ruffled it's very pretty that one this one that looks like it has one of those what is it mike myers spinning wheel you know go into the future go into the past <laughs> yeah baby <laughs> <laughs> some of you will know the reference but anyway <laughs> it's got a few little stains on there too but um you know once again it could come up in the wash with a bit of bleach i did hear something about washing your doilies with egg and beer it's supposed to remove the stains now this little rather special one here has green in it for any of you ladies that love green it does have a little stain here uh the other side's not too bad isn't that pretty though look at that and we go. we're nearly there girls this one that looks like it's got a star in the middle or a star flower or something there we go it's a little nice one there this one which is kind of fine and open very open pattern i think it's pretty though Now, I'm only going to show this um, as an option for Jeanette. Um, I'm sorry, this is not available for anyone else. Jeanette, I found you another blue one. If you would like this blue one, it's got a little cloth center. Um, you're more than welcome to have that one. Uh, I can include that for you. So she likes her blue and she says, I never find blue doily. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? So that's for Jeanette. Nobody else, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's on my design team, I'm sorry. All right, girls, so that is it. I'm going to try and download this now. Um, that kit is $50. Um, like I said, all the proceeds are going towards helping my daughter get her chemo and her radiotherapy. 
Um, I also will be creating a, um, a money pool on my PayPal um, for anyone that would like to just donate maybe a couple of dollars or something to help her out. Um, I really need her to get this done. I, um, I'm scared I'm going to lose my girl. And I'm trying to stay bright and chipper and I hope you ladies understand. So those two kits are available now. Um, like I said, I'll add a few things into them. But um, I hope you ladies enjoy them. And I love you all. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.